I'd been alive for more than 50 hours at this point. I'd stolen a car. And now I'm, I'm about to drive straight past him. It's got lots of fuel in it and all. Commandeered a base and, well, a lot more. They will be so disappointed. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, friends, the journey doesn't start here. We've got to go way back. Back to the coastline. This player had been following me. That's why they closed the door behind them. They had a plan. <laughs> he got stun locked in there like the moment I started opening up on him. Man, I'd kill a man for his apple though right now. Not even lying. I always loot the guard boxes. Sometimes you can get lucky and get some decent starter weapons. You beauty. And even uniforms, ammo and magazines. I have a weapon I can defend myself at least. Late that night, I found myself looting in a police department. But getting inside, I'd made a fair bit of noise. Look at these shotguns. Fill this up. Yep, someone's been here real recently. I could still definitely be in here. There was a survivor on the second floor, waiting. We took some shots at each other, but none of them landed. I could hear him upstairs, reloading his weapon, and with him having the high ground, Maybe it would be more beneficial if we opened up a line of dialogue. Oh. What's going on there, man? I can barely hear you through that helmet. Oh, actually, there's like actually, I didn't know I was like rolling back in the game. Yeah, it muffles your voice. So what's the plan? Well, I'm not going downstairs. That's understandable. Uh, yeah. So, should we go separate ways? Or will we want to fight this out? Oh, yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to leave. We'll see what happens. Oh, I'll leave you that. Good luck. He clearly didn't have a great deal of stuff on him. So was it worth risking my life? No. I had a decent amount myself. I'm jamming this bad boy. Having that jam up on me, like, I knew this thing was going to because it's badly damaged. <laughs> I do have other mags for this, but it's a piece of shit. <laughs> I passed through the small airfield looking for supplies. Well, I've got enough fruit. I'm gonna head inland so I can get some higher tier weapons and better ammunition. A nice backpack would be good. After collecting this police uniform, I decided I was going to keep it, just slightly modify it. Hey, chicken. There was nothing on the coast left for me. It was time to go inland and look for higher tier loot. There's players out there with like 10 to 20,000 hours on this game. They love it, they're addicted to it. Yep, absolutely every door is open. Who? They've left me nothing. Black backpack, I'm going to take that. Just because that'll be better. Nice. A badly damaged KA-74. Someone else's junk. I only need a repair kit. I'll take it. I might ditch the scorpion. A decent backpack, but... I'm gonna stick with my small one. I have black vest, black backpack, you know. I can roll around with Nako. I'll be happy with that, really. Having a complete portable gas stove is man's best friend in this game. Yeah. Keep me food in the white. Better off I'll be. I thought I heard a player for a second. Just a zombie. Paranoid. <laughs> I tried to evade the infected. And move around as silent as I could. 
Sometimes you find some odd shit in the church, so. But they stand around and linger everywhere. Come here, you. And then finally, I found one of them that actually had some value to me. It was wearing a plate carrier. And so, I acquired it. I'm a little bit safe, at least now. I searched every square inch of that base. Is that a cobra site? I'll take that. At this point in time, I was borderline living at this base. I'd been here for quite a bit of time, doing a few circles, hoping to pick up anything that might have respawned. Another survivor was on the move, and at first glance, he looked geared. This could be big. He's so gonna get beaten up. He managed to leopard crawl under the fence, but he still had a lot of infected on his tail. He was logging out. Unfortunately, he got filled with lead, resulting in a faster logout than he first anticipated. That gunfire would have echoed for kilometres, and you never know who else might be watching. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a decent amount, actually. If I didn't shoot, he might have logged out within a second or two. I ruined his shotgun because I shot through it. Let's fix up this magazine. Then I'm gonna... Should I take this here? I'm gonna take a CR. Now, I was the one running from the infected. I lost the aggro, of course, but moments later I picked it back up. Look, fill it back up. Alright, well, that's not too bad. I've got pretty geared up. Not too bad at all. I mean, I kind of got best in slot in many ways. I should have a camouflage on. This is pretty silly running around in blue, but I like my cop look. Blue and black. It's pretty cool. I'll get killed soon and lose it all and be real pissed off. <laughs> See what happens anyway. I'm still alive. So I can hear a helicopter crash, and it must have been within a couple of kilometers of me. I'm so going to go get that. That's not even that far away. I can make that for anyone else, I reckon. Nothing better. It's what I like about the official servers, right? All these little things matter, and they take forever to find. Your whole kit just means so much to you. Every little piece. You don't get that on community servers, really. It's just not the same. Not last time I played on one, anyway. It might be different nowadays. The crash site. It had to be close by. But with this heavy rain and cloud cover, it was making it difficult to detect the smoke. But I could not afford to neglect the basics. The heli. It would just have to wait. Get back out of this weather. Work out where I am. I, I sort of know where I am. I just sort of don't know where I am at the same time. And finally, just as I was leaving town and the rain had settled down. There we go. There's the heli. Holy crap, that took a while to find. And there's a good chance it's been raided by now. Like a real good chance. Coast looks kind of clear, but you just never know. I did a circle around the crash site. It seemed clear. That's a lot of zombies too. Nothing but the walking dead. Most bit is I don't have much time to do this because it's raining. One, two, three, four, five, and it was just then when I was sure of it, I was getting ready to make my move towards the helicopter. I see someone. I got a whole suit on. It was a direct hit, headshot with a CR rifle. Pretty sure I got him. However, he did have an assault helmet on. So, let's get in there and clear.
but using my rifle to finish off these zombies. That was slow and a mistake. Now let's get in there before he gets up. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Take that back. There's someone else out there. Son of a bitch. I was a little bit confused at the time, but I'd soon work it out. Exactly what happened. Alright, let's circle back around. He's got a friend. Quite possibly. I'm gonna try to get some high ground. Morphine pen, just in case I get do get hit. I'll be ready for it. Just make sure he's not like chasing me. Man, this is where I wish I had a ghillie suit. I stand out like a sore thumb. There was no dead body at the crash site. That's when I realised. It was him. He returned fire. So this is my zombies. If he was dead, I'd be able to see his body. He's not dead, he's alive. <laughs> he's made a runner. I was making a lot of noise after all. He would have... Now I've got to be extra careful because he'd be like recovered by now. There's definitely no body on the ground. There was no one else, just him. He got up. I was... I should have pulled out my AK and cleared those zombies faster. It is what it is. Well played, my man. Well played. See, if he had a ballistic helmet on too, that would have got just... Even with a headshot, that would have actually made him unconscious. Alright, let's see what's here. Let's risk it for the biscuit. Uniform. Gilly hood. There's his handgun he must have dropped. Oh, he got out of there. <laughs> he did not return. He must have been so hurt. He must have been like, screw this, I'm out. After I went in and looted the crash site, I was surprised that we both walked away from it alive. I'm just going to follow these power lines and hopefully they take me to somewhere I want to be. <laughs> and I'll go from there. Plan is to make a base. But I've got to work out how to do it and what I need. I've, I've got some things. I've got wire, rope to start with. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to need like a hammer, an axe to cut down wood. There's like a little military base or something over there. I'm going to need a lot of stuff for sure. I might just be heading back to the coast. If I work out the star map, I'm sure like I can follow stars to certain directions. Look there, that looks like the Southern Cross. I, I don't know if it's, I don't know if that is the Southern Cross, but it looks like it. So I'm going to follow it. And if that like takes me to the coast, I know I'll just, I can always just follow it in the future. Even if I do head back to the coast, it doesn't really matter that much because I can still make a little base down there somewhere. This will be my first base I ever make, so it's going to take a bit to learn. Hopefully I don't get killed collecting shit, you know what I mean? Because that could easily happen. I had plans on making a base, a home, but not sure where or what materials I needed. That's a lot of pumpkins over there. I'd work it out, but it was going to take time. Oh, look at them all. I might grab one of those, thank you. Ooh, some paper. It looks like Wellen might have passed through here recently. Leave the rest for other people. Sit down, lose the aggro, have a quick feed. We'll get that nice and juicy. What a little score. Beautiful little score, really. Just make sure no one's around. It's what I love about this little kit, this little cooking kit. Oh, so handy. Campfires with a stick is so slow, you know what I mean? Turn that off. Look at that, beautiful. I've never had baked pumpkin before. I wouldn't in real life, tastes like trash. Whoa. Make me puke. I would if I was starving though, hell yeah. And of course, with all this travelling in the rain, I picked up the flute. Pretty much just gonna check this police department and go back to checking all the sheds. I 
I was carrying way too much stuff on me. If anyone walks through that door, it's game over. This man was dead, but I could still hear footsteps outside. And I'm not talking about the infected. Somebody else was nearby. Someone else out there? Two down. Right, let's shut the door. Yep. Yeah. I'm dead now. There's another one. Maybe it's just zombies. Oh, I needed that too. That axe there. Oh, they had a fair bit on them. Take the sign kit. The axe was a big piece of the puzzle. I needed that to start my base building. Right, I'm getting out of here. Oh yes, combination lock. I continued forward looking for the supplies I needed. A hammer, saw, pliers, nails, etc. I was trying to collect everything that I need. I've neglected my food for so long that... I'm completely out. This is my last mouthful. But luckily, there are some goats up here. Looks like goat steak was back on the menu. And it would keep me going on the road for quite some time. There's zombies spawned in way down there, they're definitely not mine. Someone spawned them in, so... That's a good way of telling when someone's in an area, just... If the zombies are out of your spawn radius... Then they're someone else's. Because they wouldn't be there, if no one was there. There's a bloody helmet there, look at that. Never seen that before. I searched the backyards, sheds, containers... Oh, I gotta have a look at that. And that's when I stumbled across a truck, in pretty good condition. Only missing a battery. Oh, it's even got a bit of fuel in it. It just needs a battery. And I recently just did see a battery. I know exactly where too. Because I'd spent the whole day looking for base supplies. I knew exactly where a truck battery was. There we go. There it is. I'm going to have to carry that though. Because i got nowhere I can put it. In the dark with a flu, carrying a truck battery. This would be pretty cool if I can get a truck going though. Like, it looks like it doesn't need as much as a car. Just needs a battery, like, lammed into it. Get some fuel into it. And that'd be handy. Back at the old tractor, I gave her a new battery. Let's throw that in there. Do the hard work in the silence and let the new car make some noise. I worked out the gears, slowly turned her around in the compound, and then got out of there. I got a goddamn truck. Hopefully I don't get killed. It's got like no fuel either. Just don't stop because I could easily get shot. Get down to the highway, to the left. I knew where there was a petrol station in the north, so that's where I was heading. But there was a lot of gunfire in this town only 10, 20 minutes ago, so I wanted to avoid it. Let's go, 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 go. I got another gear? No, I don't. I can't believe I got a truck. Obviously there's a fuel station here. Oh, that's so tempting. I felt like I'd made too much noise, and it was a hot spot and I could easily be shot. I think I'm going to keep going to the one right up north. It was a huge mistake not stopping there. I just figured I had enough fuel to make it all the way to the north one. That might have been a mistake.
bloody road works. I thought that zombie was a player for a second. Oh, this truck is so loud. A couple of more kilometers up the road, this old girl ran in. She's empty. Right, I gotta save her. Put her in a place where people have got less chance of seeing it. Well, they're gonna see it, but. Yeah. <coughs> Did I just get shot at? I took damage because I dived out of the truck too early. I think I might have hit a rock. Hopefully I didn't just damage the truck. This cobra side being damaged just irritates the crap out of me and you can't fix it with a repairing kit. I took off the cobra side for now until I could fix it or replace it. That's you making aiming down my sights worse. I'd prefer the iron <coughs> sight any day. There was another survivor nearby. He was letting off some rounds. What he was shooting at, I don't know. I left him to his business and continued heading north. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm good. There's a world just down there. Definitely not the safest spot in the world, but... So drop some of these zombies so I'm safe. Have a quick drink. I stopped to stay hydrated and filled up my canteen. After that, I went hunting. That will do. Just got my little campsite out of Got my rifle there, because I... Yeah, I can't switch between my weapons if someone wants to come here. Shit. Carrying all these base supplies, including the shovel and two weapons, I was truly overweight. I decided to make my first base in an apartment building, and nothing really went to plan. I chopped down some trees and made some logs and had all the basics going. Nothing to see here, people. Just a survivor making his first home. Alright, let's put this in here. Then I'm going to need planks for sure, which will probably be made out of logs. But with the saw. It's a bit odd, but whatever. It works. Probably not 70. Oh, okay. Nice. i got to go find another axe. And when my axe broke, I had to go and find another. That was painful. This is all a slow process. And it all makes noise. That's this. Whoa, that landed close. I think I'm gonna be up good up here, but. Down you come, baby, down you come. Building lower frame. Oof, this is making noise. Build lower wooden wall. Ah. Uh, what can I say? I was a noob of a carpenter and didn't know what I was doing at the time. Look what I've done. Ah, uh, I've, I've, I've messed up. I wonder if I can even get it. I decided to ditch the base and just try again. Oh, that's the second floor. That's a decent little drop. Well, right, let's go get my axe. Let's forget about it. Let's move on. Let's go build a new one. I got a feeling they're attracted to someone else. It felt like I was back to square one. Let's have a drink before those wolves rock up. The wolves had been tracking my scent trail all night. I was going to have to deal with them. Looks like if you keep moving, you can sort of outrun them. Oh, here they come. How many are you? I started to look for the base supplies I needed once again, and that's when I stumbled across someone else's work, half completed. Not one here. Interesting. Okay. Look at this for a spot too, yeah, if you just build around that door there. This is actually a really crazy spot. Then again. There's a gate there. What do I need over here? The previous owner had already done the work up top and blocked off the ladder to the second entrance. I just stole someone's base. I fitted the half-constructed gate with a padlock 
and it was now mine. Now I got... Wow, I just stole someone's base. Well, that's handy. I got some ammo, and I'll fill up my water bottles out there. I travelled a long way northwest looking for an axe. So far, in fact, I decided my next stop may as well be the northwest airfield. I've got to check these sheds yet, but I still haven't found one. How crazy. Now the zombies, they like... They do little runs. They always feel like you've seen players now. And with extra caution, I filled up my canteen and prepared for the final stretch. If I had a better uniform, I could carry a lot more of my uniform too. Because the police outfit only has so many slots. Like field, you know, if you get like field jacket or something, you get like an extra 20 slots on this thing. This is like, what, 42? 30, it's only a 30, so it's like... I've had this police uniform for so long now, it's not even funny. I, I have to trade this little black assault backpack out though. I need. Still haven't found an axe. Not likely to find one either. Not until I'm done here. I'm going to go through here, restock up on ammunition. That's the main thing I care about. Another magazine would be nice. Even a couple of them. And a backpack. Night vision would be bonus. Don't really care that much though. But surviving it is the main thing. I'd made it inside the Northwest Airfield, a place notorious for gamer activity. <laughs> I missed the first shot. But I made up for it and got him on the second one. I need to take cover for a minute. I feel like I'm about to get third partied any second now. He was definitely dead. I'd made way too much noise for my liking and had to keep moving, pressing forward. He's 100% dead. And maybe he's got a friend, you know what I mean? Here we go. Now inside the fire department, it was time to lock it down. I'll lock these doors. I might be a little bit safer. I made my way up the staircase to the second floor. Just in case he's got a friend. Just never know. After I cleared it, I climbed the ladder to the roof. Laid down next to a dead man and looted a gold mine. Alright, rest in peace my friend. Whoa, he had a lot of ammo. Holy crap, dude. Oh, he's got night vision. I'm going to drop my bag and I'm going to take his bag. He had so much ammo. Not even funny. Right, I'm going to head back to the tents. I've looted most of the joint. I mean, there's, there's lots I haven't. But I'm way overweight. I've got more ammo than I could carry. I'm pretty well set to just... I still need an axe. I, I can find an axe, but I got one other thing I wanted, which was a hiker's backpack for more room. So, rest in peace to that guy. But his backpack is something I absolutely needed. And now that my pockets were lined, and I couldn't carry any more, it was time to head back to the base that I'd stolen. Please don't be no one around. <laughs> but with fresh pork chops, I was going to be eating good tonight. Hopefully you guys are enjoying my video. This one's actually going to be really cool. I've achieved more goals than I've achieved in any of my others, really. Although I still haven't made my own base, I've just kind of uh, commandeered someone else's. <laughs> Which looks like they were like almost completely finished. And then I just come along and was like, dink, put a combination lock on it, thank you. But returning to the base, I still had to stop where I could and look for an axe. I needed it so I could chop down some trees, get some planks, and fix the fence. Oh, 
Finally. Finally, the axe. I've almost done 200 kilometers on this character now. It's been alive for 20 hours plus. I think. Roughly 20 hours. I pulled up to stop, rest in a safe part of the woods, cook up my pork, and then get ready to carry on. I've had this cooking stove since the coast. Same as this uniform though. The only thing I've swapped out in a long time is my hiker backpack. And my black backpack for this one. And after what felt like a walk to Middle Earth, I'd made it. I need a lot more. But we're working it. We're working it. Alright. Let's fix her up. Hopefully no one's around. This range will give me a bit of cover. Uh, they're, they're separate ones, right. Okay. Maybe I got it this time. I keep messing this up. Let's hope. Oh, wow. Why is, it, why is it building on that one? Did they mess this frame up? I couldn't get the original fence to work. So I said, screw it. I'll make a new one. That zombie's so gonna hear me. Nothing to see here, people. Can't believe I stole this person's base. But it looks like you can't work on the fence. It looks like it's sort of bugged out or something. So I'm going to have a work around. So we'll soon find out if this works. I could be wasting my time again. But at least I'm getting practice in now anyway on how to build. This is definitely taking some time though. I was taking my time, but it was getting there. I even made some wooden crates to hold some of my stuff. Right there. There's that. Alright, that's my first crate. And every now and then I'd mess up and have to deal with the walking dead. Whoa, I completely just like messed up and then just had a million zombies on me. <laughs> Into our town. Let's do it. And once I had all the planks I needed, it was back to construction. Platform, upper frame. It worked. Oh my god, so far anyway. Imagine if I can't get out. Finally, I had a successful build. It works. It works. I've got two combination locks. Okay, my base is legit gut and secure now. I'm so happy now. This is my first base I've, I've built. Well, I stole the original part, but... Hey, I added the extra layer of security. They might be able to squeeze through that like If I'm not careful. Ladies and gentlemen. I legitimately have a safer base now. Once I secure this, I'm probably just going to make a whole nother fence right there if I can. And I can access it. Fix up all my uniforms, everything. I'm finally comfortable. This is the first time I've actually felt safe in Danzig. Because I've got a base. And I'm not much of a base builder, but doing this solo on the official service, that's awesome. And the base is secure. I threw some combination locks on the doors, and then I was off. That truck, oh, I can't believe I, I ditched that truck. But yet, I still had a long walk ahead of me. I was just paranoid I was going to get killed, realistically. So I was like, just just get me away from this thing. It was so loud, but shit, I should have kept that. Could have been a base on wheels. I'll find another one. She's mine. I was never there, lady. You just stay in there and mind your own business. Finally, I'd made it back to the Northwest Airfield. Yeah. And then I found myself a new Cobra site. One that wasn't damaged. Nice. I finally got one. <laughs> helicopter? I'm going for that. There was a downed helicopter inside the base, near the tents.
The crew of the chopper was deceased, and after I quickly cleared them up, I checked the remains for anything that might be inside the rubble. Take that. Take that, take that. Oog. An F-88 Ostire, an Australian issued weapon. I'll take it. I'm out. If there's anyone around, they definitely would have heard that me. I came across dead zombies, but they must have been silent players because they didn't make a noise. Alright, we'll make the journey back home again. I'd walked the same path a few times now and was truly starting to feel it. I'm ridiculously heavy again because I'm overweight carrying too many weapons. I so need a car, so badly. And when I got to the base I'd recently overtaken, it looks like someone had raided me. That ain't good. Someone's taken the wall down up top. Shit, I've been raided. They've raided it from the top. They would have soon realized that there's nothing really in there. I'm gonna have to make a new wall up top. Interesting. Not like I really had anything for them to take. But yeah, I've been raided. No nails anywhere. Holy crap. At this rate, I'm gonna end up back on the coastline just looking for them. I needed a box of nails so I could construct a new fence up top of the base. But it's whenever you want something, you can't find it anywhere. I might just hang out here for a second, camp. And when I was in a small coastal town looking for supplies, I found evidence of somebody else's construction. Someone's looking for base parts. They've opened up all these sheds. Is he dead? I can hear him. I had the aggro of the walking dead, so I closed the door behind me. He's bandaging. He was applying a bandage. That means there's no weapon in his hands. He was bandaging. Take that, take that. Ah, that's a lot of noise. Let's quickly lock this door. This man had a lot of base supplies on him, including a box of nails. I'm gonna make some new suppressors out of those bottles. I didn't leave him with much. I took most of the important stuff with me. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. Tough world. Later that night, I was investigating, tracking down some gunfire, but what I found instead was a base, abandoned, recently raided. The front gate, busted wide open. Someone's been raided. Whoa. This was a well-executed raid. Whoever did it, got in and got out fast. Look at this. My best guess would be, the owner was offline, and whoever raided them, had recently just left. I could turn this into my base. Like, holy crap, they got a lot in here. But what they've left behind had more value than any weapon. There's a whole base that could be completed. And in the dark, cold, silent night. Just gotta fix this door up. I saw that they had planks in here, like just over here. Was My devious plan was coming together. Construction was almost complete. And once I added the fresh combination lock to the fence. Well, can they raid it from the inside out? It had a new owner. Me. Anything in here that they can raid with, you know what I mean? Whoever previously raided this base has taken all the good stuff, that's for sure. I need a better combination lock than that, but... Alright, I'm gonna store some of my stuff in here. It would suck if they're logged in. <laughs> They'd just be like, really? 
Yeah, base. It's got a new wall and padlock on it. <laughs> the org. and put it in here, possibly. Alright, I'm going to leave the org here. And get moving and gear up a bit. The gate only had a three-digit combination lock. I needed a better one. So the first thing I did was search the town. But my luck had finally run out. I couldn't find any. So I came up with a different plan. To go back to my original base, remove the four digit combination lock from there, bring it back here, job well done. But just as I was getting ready to leave town and pass by my base, there was a dead zombie and I didn't kill it. No, my friend, no. But as for the player that was trying to crack the combination lock, I'm definitely guilty of that one, shooting first and asking questions later. Better deal for zombies. Well, he was carrying everything he needed for a base. I stored all the extra crap I didn't need inside and then prepared to move out. I've had this uniform for so long, I've never let it get ruined. I've had it since the beginning, since the coastline, even though I'm still technically on the coastline in many ways. So I've got, a, I've got two bases now where I can drop off lots of stuff, so that's handy. Doesn't matter if any of them get raided, really. I haven't got the greatest stuff in there in the world. I'm pretty good. At least I'm not as heavy as what I was. My gear's all good, it's all looked after. We're looking good. That dude that I killed that knows where my base is, he might be already heading back towards it, you know what I mean? That could be happening. Every now and then you drop your guard for a moment, and before you know it, you have a whole horde behind you. Yeah, you, you want to leave, lady? Don't make me do it, lady. Don't make me do it. The infected are a big part of the Daisy experience, and that's why I'd be sure to give them a special little spot that they've earned and add them in my stories. Almost back at my base, or my other base, my first base. Technically my second base, my first was an epic fail. So there's my little sniper's hole in my base. Let's see how it's looking, it looks like a gate's been opened. Let's go, go, go. Right, so that door is open. Someone's been in here recently. I'm going to take this padlock off here because I don't really care about this base. And now that I had a prestige four digit combination lock, I had to return it home and quickly get it installed. Hopefully that didn't wake up all the neighbours. I lit up the stove and warmed up inside after a long journey. And I knew when I was ready, I had a lot of kilometres to cover. We're good. I was back on the road. Destination, the Northwest Airfield. That rain is crazy heavy. It's not showing any signs of slowing down. I need to do some cooking. And here, we just have to do, got some chicken and potato. That'll work. As long as no one else. It was a hot spot to be doing some cooking, but these little portable stoves, that's why they're so good. Potatoes are done. Just waiting on the chicken. Chicken's done. Perfect. I'd looted more than half the base so far, and was filling up my canteen down in a small stream. Just have a drink. And after I was done here, I was tracking down a helicopter crash. Which led me to... They must be out getting this helicopter crash. Hang on a minute. I bet you any money... They're out there getting this helicopter crash. I waited a few minutes and even scouted out the wreck. But there was no player activity anywhere. Plenty of fuel. This is why I always carry a spare spark plug with me. Let's just have one last look. And when the coast seemed clear. Let's go.
And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, I'd stolen a car. Well, they, they're at the helicopter. I just stole their car. And now, I was off on the open road with almost half a tank of fuel. And now I'm, I'm about to drive straight past them. But having fuel was the least of my concerns. My engine was overheating, the radiator was ruined. As long as I drive at a decent little speed. I can't believe I just stole a car. I've got to get this back to my base now. Or at least make a base, one or the other. I'll just get this to a safe spot to start with. Ladies and gents, they will be so disappointed. <laughs> they would be so angry. Well, this thing's really hot. Hang on. What's going on there? Why is she so hot? I didn't get very far. Radiator ruined. Wait, did they have a spare radiator in there? They did. How do you swap the radiator? How? I need a spanner, not pliers. Hang on a minute, they got a spanner in here. For some reason, I couldn't remove the radiator. And standing out here in the open, only a few kilometers away from the crash site. I got the pliers, I've, I've tried pliers, I've tried the wrench. It was going to get me killed. Maybe I've got to get up on top of it. I just can't remove the radiator. Oh, this is annoying. I decided to abandon it and leave it on the side of the road. I don't know what I'm going to do, but for now, I think I'm going to go back on foot. And so I continued to travel northwest to see where my adventures would take me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment, my friends. I'll see you next time. And far I travelled. However, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not known for my happy endings. Oh!